Hi, I'm Risa Keller. I'm Vanilla Girl on Twitter. Two R's to distinguish from those really angry three R kind of girls. <laughs> and I'm here to talk to you tonight about high altitude baking. Because it's really simple. It's all about atmospheric pressure. Wow, you really can't see anyone out there. So interesting. Um, so some people say baking is an, a science, cooking is an art, but understanding the science helps you get the art back in baking. The higher you get, the thinner the layer of atmosphere is trying to push down on your baked goods as they're trying to rise. So think about that. What, what this means is there's less atmospheric pressure inhibiting the boiling of water at higher altitudes. So the higher you go, the lower the temperature water boils. Why does this matter? Because the lower the temperature at which water boils, the longer your baked goods are boiling and evaporating and drying out. So you'll have these dry, crumbly baked goods if you don't do something to fix that. <laughs> so these are all leavenings. They create carbon dioxide in your batter. And the lower the altitude, the more carbon dioxide is created. And then the higher the altitude, the faster that happens, and you need to slow it down by reducing leavening. So that's the key. So reduce leavening by half, increase moisture, add a little less sugar than you would, and increase the baking temperature 25 degrees. Those are your basic cake adjustments. To add moisture, you can add all these things, but don't add all of them, just add one or two. <laughs> Um, <laughs> if you add all of them, you'll end up with a soupy mess that has nothing to do with cake. <laughs> now, Chef Adrian Lauer at Frosco Food and Wine here in Boulder says that if you don't want to tweak a recipe, try baking it in cupcake tins. All I recommend is that you don't overfill your cups like I did. So, so you don't have to remember all this. There's a link at the end, but one muffin says to the other, Gee, it's hot in here. The other one says, yikes, talk, talking muffin. <laughs> For yeasted breads, you can also adjust your recipes. For great results, use half the yeast. Add a little more liquid. Punch the dough down earlier because it rises faster. Those bubbles are expanding faster. Or you can let it rise in a cool place like the fridge. So even if, if you don't have all these, these handy tips with you, you can remember a few things that will help you bake great cakes and breads anywhere you go, Andrew. <laughs> Again, add more liquid. It's really easy. So, so how do you, how can you tell a silly person has been baking chocolate chip cookies? M and M shells all over the kitchen. It's a nightmare. <laughs> now, here's another thing you want to do. Bake your egg whites to soft peaks. That's where they sort of flop over when you take the beaters out. Overbeaten, clumpy egg whites lead to sad, deflated cakes. You don't want that. Now, don't, re don't let your bread doughs rise as long. With le less atmospheric pressure, doughs rise higher and faster. So either chill it or put less yeast in there. Yeasted bread adjustments, basically. Reduce yeast by half at this altitude. Add liquid, punch down or knead at least twice, and reduce baking temperature by 25 degrees. Now, another great bread recipe is the no-knead bread from the New York Times. Recipe published a couple years ago. It's awesome. You get this crackly, crispy, smelling, wonderful loaf that impresses all your friends. And it just, it looks terrible while you're baking it, but it comes out great, trust me. Now remember to adjust other recipes too. If you're interested in canning especially, increase the processing time or you'll poison all your friends and family, which wouldn't be fun. <laughs> and what does this have to do with Elton John? Well, my mom was a pastry chef at Caribou Ranch Recording Studio up in near Netherlands. And she had to bake, learn to bake at 8,500 feet. She taught me everything she knew. You can also go to the cookbook Pie in the Sky. You can take classes at the local culinary school of the Rockies. Or you can go to your local cooperative extension office. They always have publications online. 
Now I want you to go and bake some cakes and breads of your own. Basic things to remember are reduce the leavening, increase moisture in your recipe, increase heat for cakes, decrease cake for breads. There are links at my blog. Great. Have a great time. Happy baking. Thank you. Good night.